Hey guys, it's Tim and Emma Fit Time, and today's video is Beginner's Guide to Squats. Now, we all have to start somewhere, especially if you have bad knees. I have arthritis in my knees, and the meniscus on my right knee is starting to deteriorate. So I started off, and plus being at 361 pounds, squats were hard. They were. They were very, very hard. So I didn't do them. And big mistake, huge. So then I started doing squats from a chair. And then I used a chair, but I didn't sit all the way in it. And now I don't need a chair anymore. And I'm doing just fine. So you guys, that's why I'm bringing this to you to help you on your journey. For people who have bad knees, for people who are older, or for people who do not have strength in their legs yet. The reason why I do squats, the main reason is because I don't want to be at the age of 50 where my children have to come and pull me off the toilet because I can't get up from a squat. So what are squats? Squats are a compound move. They work your back, your core, your butt, your hamstrings, your quads, and your calves. Compound move. Multiple um, muscles being worked at the same time. Now, everybody thinks that, oh, way to get a butt is squats. It's not squats to get a butt. It helps, but it's not. So anyways, today I'm going to throw you, show you three variations. Um, one from a chair, one using a chair, and other one is just freestanding. So I hope you guys enjoy. It's where I started my journey. So here we go. Are you ready? Oh, and another thing. It's a proven fact, your knees can go over your toes doing a squat. Just not like this though. That's not good. But if it goes over a little bit, you'll be okay. So, first thing you wanna do is you wanna get yourself a chair, okay? You wanna sit, put your feet about shoulder width apart. Now, I'm a little bit taller, so I go a little bit wider than shoulder width because shoulder width apart is just not comfortable for me, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna get up and you wanna sit back down. You wanna get up and you wanna sit back down. Make sure your toes are pointed forward. Up, sit back down. Up, sit back down. Up, Sit back down. Okay, got that one, right? Squats from a chair, how I started. Then, I don't know how to describe this one any other way. You wanna grab a chair. And the chair is for safety, just in case you feel like you're gonna fall back. Um, sometimes you're just starting out and with squats, when you go that deep, sometimes you can't take it, so then you wanna sit down and then go back up. But this is how I graduated from the chair. Once again, toes forward, feet out in front of you. You don't want to have your feet back here. You want to have them out here in front of you, flat. I go a little bit wider because I am so tall and it's more comfortable for me. And I really don't know how else to describe this. So if I offend anybody, I am sorry. Okay. So you want to sit on the corner of the chair, right? What you want to do is you want to go up. Then you want to come down and you just want the corner of the chair to hit your crotch. <laughs> and you come back up and you go back down. You come back up and you go back down. Come back up, corner of the crotch, hit the chair, bam, back up. There you go. Just use the corner and always push through your heels. Always push through your heels. You're working your butt and your hamstrings a little bit more when you're pushing through your heels. If you push through your toes, you're working in the front, the quads a little bit more. Okay, now, freestanding. Yeah. Freestanding. So here we go. What you want to do? Shoulder width apart again, toes pointed forward. I'm a little bit wider because I am taller. Ready? Let's hope I make it. And we want to go down and up. And as you can see, I'm about the same height. If 
from using a chair or my crotch would hit the corner. I'm not going any deeper than that. I can't. There's physical impossibility of me going any lower than that. And that's okay. You don't have to go as low as some of them girls. If you have to, you can only go like this. That's fine too. You're still working. Just make sure you per push through them heels and you're still working. But eventually you will get lower and you will go down lower. So there you have it guys. Beginner's guide to squats. I hope you enjoy. Hit that like button, hit that love button. Follow me up above so that way you don't miss any tips or tricks with workout videos, food videos, or just tips in general on my journey. Hopefully you can apply it to your own. Love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.